Hi, hey, my name is Sharik and I'm a senior product manager at Game Analytics. Today I'll be going over the topic of custom dashboards. Custom dashboards are really useful for creating unique overviews that allow you to present your data differently to the pre-built dashboards. For example, you could create a custom dashboard to show all of the metrics that are important to you into one view, including alternative visualization types to help you understand the significance of the data in the context that you prefer. So let's go ahead and create our first custom dashboard. On the left-hand side, I have custom dashboards as the menu title, and next to that, I have the plus icon. Let's click on that. I'm now presented with the two views. I could either create a dashboard from scratch, or I could take an existing dashboard that I've made before, or use a pre-built dashboard and build on top of that. For the purposes of this tutorial, let's create one from scratch. I want to create a dashboard for both player engagement and monetization metrics in one view. So I'm going to call this engagement plus monetization and click confirm. Great, now I can go ahead and start adding my own widgets to this dashboard. So when creating a custom dashboard, I can choose to either add already existing widgets or create my own. Let's go and create my own widget firstly. I'll click on create new widget. Now I can create a widget from any of the metrics that are predefined within game analytics or custom events which you may have pre-built within your game event structure. For this first widget, I want to create a widget for retention. So I'm going to call this retention day seven. I'm going to choose a line chart as a visualization. Within metrics, I can go and select retention, clear this, then select day seven, click apply. And now I actually want to build this whole dashboard for data for the United States. So let's go ahead and add a filter for the country, United States. As you can see here, I also have a tab for event filters that will allow me to add filters for custom game events if I need to. And let's add this to the dashboard. Great. Now let's go ahead and add another widget. This time I want to see new users. So I'll show new users. Um, click this time a bar chart. Select the metric new users. Where is that? That's in core metrics. If I select the right one. Again, let's go add the country United States and add the widget to the dashboard. Let's go add two more widgets to this now. I want to add a widget for average revenue for my daily active users. So I know this widget already exists, so I don't necessarily have to go create it myself. So if I click on add existing widgets and I scroll down to the monetization dashboard, I will see our DAO and our poo. So let's go and add our DAO and our poo and add widgets to the dashboard. Great, I've got both of these widgets here now. However, they don't have the country filter for the United States, so I can click on edit go to the filter selection, and again, go add the country filter, United States, click apply, save those changes, and do the same thing for our poo, go down, click the dimensions, click on country filter, United States, click apply, and save those changes, great. Now, if I save my dashboard, what you'll see is that I'll have all the widgets loaded for data for the United States. If I change the date picker to the month of August, you now see that retention will also be populated within the widget. And this brings an end to the tutorial for custom dashboards. Thank you for watching. By the way, there's a ton of resources on our documentation page, so please make sure to check it out to find more information, not just about custom dashboards, but of all the other features we have within Game Analytics.